Um, is objectivism of value to the common man who just wants to get by in life? If so, how do we sell it to him? Well, what, is it, what does it mean to just get by in life? I, I don't think the common man just wants to get by in life. I think he's being sold on just get by in life. Um, the common man should want to live the best life that he can within his abilities. And how do we sell it on it? We sell it, I think, to him on the basis of if you want to live a good life, if you want to live a happy life, if you want to live a successful life, which I think all people, certainly common people, want or should want, then here is the way to do it. Here is the methodology to achieve it. If you just want to get by, then yeah, forget it. You don't need philosophy. You don't need the objectivist philosophy. You can slush around, you know, somehow survive, somehow get by, somehow, you know, just on a lot of other things. So it's, even if you're, even if you're not excellent at, at, at something, uh, you still want to live the best life that you can live. You still want to be happy. Then this is a philosophy for you. This is not a philosophy for people who just, eh, just want to be, get by. And not everybody needs to uh, be an expert uh, at the deepest possible level too. Yes. And then of course, uh, objectivism, you don't, you know, in, in, in an objectivist world, most people won't know the, the solution to the is art problem. Won't know where the virtues exactly come from. They'll know it's connected to human survival, but they won't be able to do the, the induction that is necessary to get from the is to the art. But they will know what the virtues are. They will know the virtues and they'll know the virtues and they'll know that the virtues lead to happiness and they'll practice the virtues, not out of faith, but out of a sense and practice and firsthand experience that the virtues work, that the virtues actually lead to success. And success is measured by happiness, by, by survival as a human being. And they'll know something about the connection between reason and survival. So again, you'll, they'll know enough philosophy, enough philosophy to guide them in living. They, they won't know concept formation. They won't know the intricacies of concept formation. They won't know the intricacies of inductive knowledge. But they'll know enough to be able to know, oh, he's not defining his terms. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, I don't know what he's talking about because he won't give me a definition. They'll know enough to do that. Even the common person will know enough to do that. And they'll know their virtues. They'll know basic principles in epistemology. And they'll know a lot of the principles in ethics because that's what it takes to live. So, and then they'll be able to understand that in order for them to live, an ethical life in order to them to practice the virtues, they have to be free. And that's the connection with freedom. So they'll, they'll have, they'll have that. And that's enough for the common man. Uh, and again, just getting by, nobody should want to just get by. How does objectivism differ from the philosophies that many of us have been exposed to in our youths? Uh, philosophies based upon religions, theologians, dogmatists the f very first difference uh, objectivism tells you that it is not right it is not proper to men to take anything on faith religion is a matter of faith you accept a religion emotionally or because you were born to it you have not chosen it rationally what objectivism will tell you is that reason Man's reason is his basic means of survival. That is the most important faculty which he has, and he has to guide his life and make his choices by means of his rational faculty. Mm -hmm. He has to make his own choices, but he has to know how to make them. It is immoral for him to act on his emotions, to be guided by the whim of the moment. That objectivism holds as very wrong, very immoral. And morality, in fact, consists of following your reason to the best of your ability. So that rationality is the basic virtue from which all the others proceed.
using the super chat. And I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to iranbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, Iran Brook Show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...